Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. And yeah, Kat, we made it. I'm alive. And so am I. We both made it. I don't come in and, and... Tom, that's the first thing he says to me. He's like, hey, you made it in. All right, oh you made gosh. it. Oh, my gosh. What yeah. a crazy weekend, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. That was an insanely busy pirate festival. Yeah, I got sure to was. say, like, yeah. that's, that's good. I'm glad. It, was, it sounds like it was a successful event for everybody all around. It so. was really, it was great. I, yeah. I'm just so proud. I'm proud of it. Me and Chrissy are really proud mm-hmm. of how it all turned out and everybody was there. In case you missed what was going on, a cat. <laughs> Three Penny Theater did the Mermaid Lagoon yeah. here this year for the Pirates of the Pacific Festival, yeah. which was a big success. Was and great. yeah, I think our estimate was people came yeah, <laughs> our estimate was like we had those craft kits and bubbles and stuff, so we gave away stuff to about like five hundred kids. I want to say sure. yeah, it was our estimate at the sure. end of that, which yeah. was really cool. We we didn't have anything left in the treasure chest by the end of it all, so that was kind of cool and. Yeah, no, everyone was super cool. Yeah, it was a good time. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exhausted. I could barely move my legs this morning, but but I'm here. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, I'm going to get one of them mm-hmm. ped things to wear on my leg next mm-hmm. year so I can walk through. I keep saying I'm going to get one of those so I can actually judge how many times I walk back and forth. That, Absolutely. That yeah. Thing. yeah, how, how much Absolutely. we do the walking, man, because my legs is screaming too, you know, mm-hmm. and, and the feet, you know, and the boots are even comfortable and everything, but it's like, geez. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was fun. I was telling Tom also this morning we were talking and I go, yeah, it's uh, it's funny. I get one day off or one day where I can hang out and be cool and actually be a pirate and have fun is Saturday mm-hmm. because Friday working all the way up until it starts and everything's smooth and then I can mellow out. But then Sunday it's the takedown afterwards. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're all like, it's fun. But there's a lot of work involved before and after the thing. There so. definitely is, yeah, yeah. But, 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 it, but we want to, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was good. Yeah. And we want to thank all our vendors that came out there, all the sponsors that sponsored us, and all the people, all of you that came out there and had fun with us because I know you were there. Because mm-hmm. everybody and their brother was there. We did a thing last year, some uh, travel, one of the Oregon travel things. One of the people did a demographic, you know, and with uh-huh. computer technology and everything. They said we had... Like 43,000 people there last year. So I'm assuming the same thing happened this year because everybody was telling me it was it was bigger, which is funny. We had 88 vendors last year, and we only had 72 or 73 this year. Mm-hmm. But it just looked the way we had it set up and everything. That looked it felt like all more. That. It felt like more. Than everybody yeah. thought it was bigger and all that. And it really wasn't. It was actually small, but the people were filling up the areas yeah yeah i was gonna say a lot of people a lot of the commentary was like you could tell how busy it was based on like how long it took somebody to find a parking spot (laughs) oh man you know that is the deal every year and the port is only so big so there's not much they can do about it you know we just like hope that everybody's respectful for each other and and parking out there and I, i didn't hear of anything other than one incident you know where somebody parked in front of a big rv or something that wanted to leave and mm-hmm. but that was the only thing I heard all weekend. Yeah. So, you know, out of all them people coming in and all that cars, you know, it's like, hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we want to thank Travis and all those at the port, too, for all their support and helping us all through the years. Been with us for a while. So, yeah, that was fun. And we got more fun to tell you about here because, thank goodness, that's over and there's more things going on. <laughs> it never ends. It really doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord, the summer ain't over yet. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so. Before we get going, I'd like to thank uh, the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. Hey, let's get started with the music schedule. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So coming up at the Brookings Welcome Center over at Chrissy Field, music there starting at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. On the 17th, they're going to have Ken Doberpool playing acoustic guitar. On the 24th, it's going to be Brookings Recorder Quartet. And on the 25th, Nathan Stone is going to be playing some acoustic tunes. Yes, indeed. And thank you, Nathan Stone, also for uh, helping Chrissy with the entertainment we had. That was fabulous. I got to throw that out there. Yeah, good deal. Hey, and Stephanie LaTorre and the Reverbs, we'll be playing on the 23rd in a tech at 8 p.m. And then down at Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Center on the 16th, they have comedian Joey Medina. Doors for that event open at 7.30. The show itself starts at 8. And on the 31st, they're doing more comedy. It's Comedy Pow Wow, a Native American comedy special. Doors open at 7.30 for that one as well. Show at 8 o'clock. 
And then on the 31st, they're also having a rally at Elk Valley Car Show. That's running from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with music by ZZ Tush and the Mighty Steelheads. And also over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, they have music happening at 7.30 p.m. on certain nights. On the 16th and 17th, it's Mike Powell. On the 23rd and 24th, it's Jesse Mead. And on the 30th and 31st, it's Hannah Pacinger. Hey, and then Cisco's playing on the 17th, the 24th, and 31st at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 2 p.m. And then Mike Powell is playing on the 16th and 17th at Elk Valley from 6.30 to 9.30. And on the 30th, he's at Checo Brewing from 6 to 8. Yes, he is. And then uh, P.A. and T. Roy, they're going to be playing on the 16th at Coon Tai, 6 to 8. And on the 23rd, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 to 8. All right. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 16th at Inateca in Crescent City at 7.30. And then on the 31st, they'll be over at the Elk Valley Casino Car Show at 1 o'clock. Yep. And then the Italian guys, they're on the 15th, 22nd, they'll be at Kuntai at 6. And then on the 24th, they'll be at Inateca at 7. All right. And then Ranch Party is playing on the 16th at the Brookings Elks Lodge from 7 to 9. And on the 17th, they'll be at Augustino's from 3 to 6. Yep. And then Misty Mountain Bruin, the music starts 6 to 8 on the 17th and 30th. It'll be Long Goddard on the 16th. There'll be Rogue Strings. On the 23rd, P.A. and T. Roy, and on the 31st, hey, they got a surprise guest. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> All right, and then looking at events for the rest of August, over at the Checo Library in Brookings. On Mondays at 5.30, they have a Spanish speakers walking group. This is a fitness and conversation group for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their weekly story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. Also on Tuesdays at 1.30, they've got a free chair yoga class. And this is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. And chair yoga happens again on Thursdays at 1.30. Again, that one focusing on seated positions. At 5.30 on Thursdays, they have easy flow yoga class. This is a yoga class for beginners, which includes standing poses. It is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor. And then finally, for rounding out weekly events on Fridays at 4 o'clock, they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And as far as special events and monthly events go, on the 20th at 11 a.m., they have Apples, a versatile snack. You can join dietitian Elisa Green for free information and tips to incorporate more whole foods into your daily diet. And then rounding things out on the 27th at 5.30 p.m., they have game nights at Checo Brewing Co. That's the last game night of the month. This is an open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's board game collection hosted at Checo Brewing Co. on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library's collection or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet with and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community with lots of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they have to be accompanied and supervised by an adult guardian. And game nights are a regular event that happen every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And then on the 28th at 1 o'clock, they've got a free art workshop with Tori. You can join volunteer and local artist Tori for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials for these workshops are always provided, and these workshops are geared toward adult artists and crafters. And on August 29th at 4 o'clock, they've got their Lego Club. Lego builders and enthusiasts of all ages are invited to an open building session in the library's youth section. And then coming up for August book clubs at the library on the 14th at 4 o'clock, they've got their Kids Book Club. This is geared toward second through fifth graders, and kids vote on and pick the books that they want to read every month. Also on the 14th at 4 o'clock, they have Freshly Written Book Club. This one's geared toward adults, and it's focusing on fiction and debut authors. And then finally, on the 22nd at 5.30 p.m., they've got their Pub Grub Book Club. This casual book club is for adult fans of graphic novels. It takes place off-site at Misty Mountain Brewing in downtown Brookings. And this month, they're reading and discussing I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. And if you have any questions about programs, book clubs, or other events happening at the Checo Library, you can always give them a call at 541-469-7738. You can check out their events calendar at checkcolibrary.org or give them a follow on social media on Facebook. (laughs) You know what? It's funny. I was just thinking about it. The library nowadays has changed so much from the 60s and 70s. When I used to go, it was just library. And if you were noisy, it's shh from the library. Nowadays, they just got all kinds of stuff hopping there. That's great. Yep. Yep. Well, it's like learning takes so many forms, not just reading. That's right. It's true. I love that you guys are expanding that out, too. Mm -hmm. I dig it. That's Mm -hmm. great. 
All right. Well, with that, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, here are a few quotes from astronaut and the first man to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong, born August 5th, 1930. He says, mystery creates wonder, and wonder is the basis of man's desire to understand. He said, the important achievement of Apollo was demonstrating that humanity is not forever chained to this planet, and our visions go further than that, and our opportunities are unlimited. Mm -hmm. Very cool. He goes, I believe every human has a finite number of heartbeats. I don't intend to waste any of mine before you get going to the moon. I don't take care of that. And then that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from uh, Neil Armstrong with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this I know, thing. I know. Even though yeah. I hate it, I'm having fun with it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, I like that. You're going on the more profound side of things this week. That made me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. I like that. Start the and I watched right. Man Walk on the Moon. That was awesome. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's it really was cool. great. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, coming up with Suds on the Coast, they're having a community conversation about substance use disorder, opiates, and our resources. This is happening on the 15th of August from 530 to 730 at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. And the topics for discussion that night are going to include overdoses in the community, youth substance abuse, and substance abuse amongst the unhoused population. Yes. And then a Family Resource Center in Crescent City is presenting the Youth and Family Fair. This is going to be held at the Beachfront Park on the 17th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can join them for a fun afternoon with children's crafts, activities, healthy snacks, and community resources. For more information on this, the 707-464-0955, extension 2112. Oh, hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Roar, good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's Beard of Weird History for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Oliver Cromwell was posthumously executed? It's true, and here's the story. History tells us that Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England during the country's brief stint as a republic, died of complications due to malaria and kidney stone. How then did his chopped off head end up in private collections and museums for centuries to come? Well, after his death, the country decided to ditch the republic and asked Charles II to return to England and restore the Stuart monarchy in 1660. Well, Charles returned, but not without a serious grudge against Cromwell and all those who had executed his father. Well, Charles put together a kill list with a series of most wanted names on it, one of which was Cromwell, but since he was already dead, the next best thing to enact revenge was to have him exhumed and posthumously executed. Well, Cromwell's head was struck on a pike in Westminster Hall for the next 30 years. It then spent 20-odd years being bought and sold by various collectors, until it was finally buried in 1960 at Sydney Sussex College in Cambridge, proving that Charles II had a head for revenge. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's bitter with history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. <laughs> I thought I knew some petty folks. All right. (laughs) These guys talk about taking revenge to the next level. All right. Uh, I don't care if he's dead or not. We're cutting his head off. Dang. All right. (laughs) I hope he felt better after that. No kidding. I saw that and I was like, okay, that's a good one. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, the fourth annual Remax Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause is coming up. And this is working in collaboration with Caitlin's Cause, a local nonprofit organization and 501c3 charity, which works closely with Dornbecker Children's Hospital to provide gifts for children facing illnesses. Again, they're inviting you to join them at the Salmon Run Golf Course for the fourth annual Remax Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause. This event is taking place on August 23rd, 24th, and 25th over at the Salmon Run Golf Course. And the tournament will follow a best ball format where two-person teams will participate, all with the aim of raising funds for Caitlin's cause. The practice round will be held on the 25th, setting the stage for a wonderful event if you wish to be a part of this meaningful occasion. By either participating in the tournament or by contributing a donation, you can visit their website at kccharityclassic.com. Yes, and an Azalea Garden Senior Living, located at 755 Elk Drive in Brookings, is presenting the Azalea Garden Show and Shine. It's happening on the 25th, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
shine up your ride and meet him there for some live entertainment and a barbecue at Azalea Garden. Right, and we're getting some more barbecue towards the end of the summer mm-hmm. here going on. Let's Be Friends Del Nord is presenting a meet and greet barbecue and karaoke event. This is happening at 920 C Street in Crescent City on the 25th from 3 to 5 p.m. And everyone, the whole public is invited for an afternoon of food, good company, and karaoke. They'll be bringing the meat. Please bring a side dish. They invite folks to make memories and new friends. This event is free, and all are welcome to come. You can join their Facebook group and their page called Let's Be Friends Del Nord. They have monthly meetups, and for more information, you can call or text them at 707-951-1440. Right on. Yeah, and then Lucky 7 Casino is presenting... Open mic night. This is happening on the 30th, 8 p.m. to midnight. Bring your best act out and show off your talent. Hey, this is hosted by my buddy, Nathan Stone. There you go. (laughs) He's getting out there. (laughs) And then the Port Orford Jubilee Car Show is happening at 423 11th Street on the 31st of August from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And this event's going to have food trucks, vendors, music, as well as a silent auction fundraiser. And you can get car and vendor registration info at portorfordjubilee.org. The fundraiser benefits next year's 4th of July events. And for more information about that, you can call 541-391-2130. That's right. And then Brookings Elks Lodge is having a Labor Day luau. This is happening on the 31st at 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Featuring music by Cut It Like the Kings, Ukulele with John, Emblem's Dessert Table, and Door Prizes. And the raffle with proceeds to benefit Jimmy Quella, drink specials, barbecue, hooli hooli chicken, cornhole tournament. They got tickets per person are 20 or 60 for four. And then for ticket info, you can call 541-469-2169. And then the Elk Valley Casino is going to be presenting the Rally at Elk Valley happening on the 31st of August. This is going from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're inviting folks to rev up their engines and rock out at the Rally at Elk Valley. This is a car show hosted in the Elk Valley Casino parking lot. It's a partnership event with the Northern Knights Car Club. And again, this is happening at the Elk Valley Casino parking lot. There's plenty of room for cars and fun. And this is a free for all ages event. It features live music, classic rock hits with ZZ Tush, and local favorites, the Mighty Steelheads. And for car displays, you have gleaming chrome and polished paint jobs as the Northern Knights Car Club showcases a stunning array of classic and modern vehicles. And for food and drinks, you can satisfy cravings with delicious seats and cold brews available for purchase at their beer booth and food stand. Yeah, good times going on. Mm. And then Curry Public Library at 94341 3rd Street in Gold Beach is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for Older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not often limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Career will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. All right. And then coming up uh, here with KCIW, they've got an ongoing soapbox series happening. KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW offers two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, of course. There's no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. for people to drop in and record. Yes, indeed. And then there's game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is located at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and more. All right. And then Meals on Wheels, they've got a PSA here. They need volunteers. If you'd like to do something that will make you and those you help very happy, if you'd like to do something to help give back to the community you love, 
If you'd like to help out your fellow human beings, then Meals on Wheels is looking for you. By delivering a hot meal to those who are homebound, you not only help someone who is hungry, but you also bring a bit of kindness into their lives and a friendly face for them to see every day and social contact that they may not have otherwise. There are three routes, and they deliver hot meals to about 60 seniors on a daily basis, and each route takes about one and a half hours to complete. You can volunteer by the day, the week, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, even if it's just one day a week, one day a month, whatever works for you, every little bit helps. If you're interested in helping this great cause for the community, you can contact Meals on Wheels coordinator Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yes, indeedy. And hey, the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts, as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old and are able to pass a background check and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall, 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays, of course. Come meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts can help them achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 is Scoutmaster Mark Hagland at 541-661-2749. And then Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, 707-951-3647. And I got to tell you, I can't wait till junior. He's got fourth grade. He's going next year. The year after that, I'm going to sign him up. We're going to become part of the scouts, and I'm going to Fun. be one of the volunteers who helps him out, too. That's That'll be just exciting. a blast. I'm looking forward to it. You know, Absolutely. I got, I'm like, yeah. I know, how old does he have to be? And they're like, oh, he's got to be in yeah, fifth grade. Entering fifth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fifth. So yeah, I'm yeah. going right when he hits fifth. So we got one more year to go, and then I'm going to be all over that because cool. I love the scouts. I'm going to tell you what, I had a blast. I was in the Cub Scouts. My mm-hmm. parents were dead mother, dead father. Yep. And I just had a blast there and then mm-hmm. had a blast in the the Boy Scouts. It was just good times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother did scouting and his sons do scouting yeah. down in uh, down in Southern California. And yeah, yeah. That's I wonder if they still have like the Weeblos around, around because I think the Weeblos was the next level up from Boy Scouts. And then they had the uh, Eagle Scout or something. There's a, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, there's mm-hmm. the one where you've been doing it for. Yeah. yeah what, very cool. I love it. The Scouts is great. I can't wait. <laughs> cool, yeah. All right. Well, well <laughs> yeah, I just had to add a little bit to Start it. the countdown now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, there you go. Oh, well, Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located at Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Jekko Avenue, is featuring 36 local artists in a variety of mediums, as well as a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. You can stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery. It's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. And for more information about class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541 549-7900, or you can visit them on their Facebook page. They're at Wright's Custom Framing. Yeah, and then we got a community kitchen schedule on Mondays. It's at St. Timothy's 11 to 12. On Tuesdays, it's St. Timothy's 12 to 1. Wednesdays at the Star of the Sea Catholic Church, 12 to 1. Thursdays, Presbyterian Church, 12 to 1. Fridays, Lutheran Church, 12 to 1. And the first, third, and fifth Saturdays are at St. Timothy's, 12 to 1. And then on the second and fourth Saturdays, it's Church of the Nazarene, 12 to 1. And Sundays, they're at St. Timothy's, 3 to 4. You can also find the Community Kitchen schedule at kciw.org. And if if there's any of those dates are wrong or places are wrong because they change once in a while, Mm -hmm. uh, please let us know. You can email me at captaincurry541 at gmail.com or you can call me at 541 251 Four four two two because I put it in the paper as well and I want to get make sure mm-hmm. that we get it right because every once in a while somebody go hey that's wrong and I'm like yeah I don't know until somebody tells me you know and oh like, yeah yeah absolutely and well, we still got a few hey, minutes to go. yeah no I was gonna say like one thing that didn't end up in the script but it's a fun thing to talk about coming up this weekend because Insider Reports a sponsor of it and KCIW is a sponsor as well the Wild Rivers Film Festival is going to be coming to Brookings yes. from the 15th through the 18th yeah so Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday it's indie films indie films indie films and the film festival is going to be taking over the Redwood Theater as well as having extra screening locations documentary 
series at the Checo Library, short films featured at the Checo Playhouse on the north end of town. And yeah, it's just going to be a whole weekend full of celebrating indie cinema on the Wild Rivers Coast. And this year, actually, they had a ton of visiting filmmakers last year. They're going to have even more visiting this year. So you can have plenty of opportunities to meet people to talk about their projects and the filmmaking process. There's going to be educational panels happening each morning at the Checo Library. Yeah, no, it's just going to be a fun time. And people want to get passes or check out the schedule, get more information about that. They can visit wildriversfilmfestival.com. And there's so many, so many businesses and organizations in the community that are sponsoring this. Are they bouncing around again to other theater too? So yeah, yeah, it's three locations, three screens, and that's how you're you're able to screen like 60 plus films over a four day weekend. Yeah, yeah, that's how most film festivals do it. They have multiple screens that they show them on, and then you kind of look at the schedule and go like, well, which ones do I want to check out? What am I feeling? Am I feeling like horror and sci-fi? Am I feeling a drama? You know, sort of stuff like that. And then just looking, you get a choice to go. Yeah, Yeah, that's great. Figure out where you want. I see it. Yeah. Super. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun time. It was a blast last year. Three Penny had a really fun time sponsoring and helping out. We're going to be helping set up the red carpet and setting up for events and stuff like that as well. So it's just going to be a another fun weekend where I'm running around like a go. chicken with my head cut Yeah, off. you're not done yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully I'm everyone's having fun doing it too while I'm running around acting crazy. So, you know. <laughs> That's all right because yeah. it gets going. On. Hey, we got mm-hmm. a few more minutes. I want to get back to the pirate thing because mm-hmm. I got to say, I got to thank. My event partner, biz partner there, Chrissy Cooper, Mm -hmm. she just, man, she's just kicking these things up with the way her vision of entertainment and kids activities and stuff like that. I'm busy dealing with the vendors and all the background stuff like that. And uh, she's just putting it together. That's what I mean when people say it's Mm -hmm. bigger and everything. Nah, it's just an illusion. It was just some really Mm -hmm. awesome stuff like the Lagoon, like you guys did and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean... I want to thank her. I thank Nathan Stone, yeah, for him helping out and getting us the great entertainment that we had there and all oh, that yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. And Chrissy's boyfriend, James Gillespie, I got to give him love. He's behind the scenes guy, too. He comes in and he provides security, but he brings in all the tables and the barrels mm-hmm. and all that. They come, you know, everything he brings in. And it's like, yeah, we just got a great crew. Yeah. And it's just uh, wonderful people. We just look forward to doing more. We've got two more bodacious bazaars. Mm-hmm. One in the fourth Saturday of this month, and then we got a October Fest after the Jog Your Memory Think Color Run is going mm-hmm. on there on the seventh, mm-hmm. and then Forward we'll be one. talking about all that stuff <laughs> next week. That'll be yeah. next week's script, but it's like yeah, yeah uh, and then it's going to be the October Fest, you know. So we'll be right after that. So yeah, we'll we got looking at the holidays. We ain't done yet it'll either. be next year. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't done yet either. But at least I get a week off. You got to keep on trucking this weekend. I'll right? see yeah, yeah. When I'm dead, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's close this one out. And before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for helping us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch the Fantastic Show podcast, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll We'll see see you out there. there. Bam. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.